So today we are going to solve two problems having multiple blocks here. And we are using just three formulas to solve these type of problems very easily. That is acceleration is equal to unbalanced force by net mass. Tension for a block which is moving upwards is considered to be m into g plus a. And when a block is coming down, tension on that block is taken as m into g minus a. By using these three formulas, you can solve any problem. Let me prove that one now by taking two examples. So now, in this case, if you want to find out tension T1 and these two blocks are coming down, this block is moving upwards. How are you going to find out acceleration? Acceleration is nothing but unbalanced force. What do you mean by unbalanced force? This is two masses coming downward, this is one mass moving upwards. This is unbalanced forces because they are coming down and upwards. So the combination of these two is M1 plus M2. You can take M1 plus M2 and this is M3. So minus M3 into G. Okay, so these three are unbalanced forces and net mass is considered as the sum of the three blocks that is M1 plus M2 plus M3, that's it. So unbalanced force is nothing but uh, these two coming downwards, so M1 plus M2, this is moving upwards, so minus M3 and G is common for all. This formula is sufficient to solve the problem. So one step formula I have written to so, so solve this type of problems. We need not require any free body diagram to solve this type of problems. It's that's very simple. Now, how can you find out tension T1? So tension T1 for block mass M1, which is coming downwards, you can find out very easy, easily by using this formula. Tension down means M into G minus A. So for this block tension downwards, it is as it is moving downwards, you can consider this as M1 into G minus A. We got the uh, acceleration by using this formula, substitute here and get the answer. But how can you find out tension T2? So instead of taking this tension, if you take this tension, it will be very easy here. Because if you take this tension, you have to consider two blocks which are moving downwards, which will become very complex for you. Instead, if you take this tension, it will be very easy. So I'm taking this tension T2, which is taken as M3, as this is moving upwards, for upwards the formula is M into G plus A, that's it. So if you substitute these values, which are given, M1 is 3, M2 is 2, and M3 is 2, again, 1 and 2. If you substitute these values, you'll get the answer very easily. If you want, you can just check it out. So I have taught you how to solve this type of problems within fraction of seconds. Now let us go ahead a little bit more complex problem having two different angles 53 degrees and 37 degrees even the blocks are having same masses you can see that the one which is having greater angle the block is moving downwards and the one which is having lesser angle this block is moving upwards so anyhow acceleration is nothing but unbalanced force by net mass these two are unbalanced because one is coming down one is moving upwards so how can you solve the problem this time as this is coming downwards we can take m2 g sin theta 2 minus this is moving upwards so we can take m1 g sin theta 1 by net mass is nothing but m1 plus m2 so we have written the direct step without using any free body diagram we can solve this type of problems so as this is a single thread here single string here we can find out the tension either by considering this block or by this block if you want to find out the tension by using this block it is very simple that you can take this t as it is coming down you can take g minus a but the thing is this you have to consider the component here so m into g m2 into g sin theta 2 minus m into a you can use this formula by solving the for solving the tension here and if you want to find out the tension by using this block that also you can do very simple that is t is taken as as this is moving upwards you have to consider g plus a that's it but here it is going to be m1 g sin theta 1 plus m into a that's it you can just check it out you can use this formula or this formula you are going to get the same answer if you get the correct answer then just comment me below by using these two formulas so is it not very simple you have saved a lot of time just writing the free body diagrams is mere waste of your time so we can solve many problems by using the simple simple method like this so uh, one more problem we'll solve of the same type which have done the previous cases here now so in this problem one is hanging down one block is hanging down and two blocks are resting on the inclined plane how are you going to solve these problems now so as it is coming down these are so these are moving downward this and this block is moving upwards because there are two blocks having lot of lot of lot of weight so therefore 3 plus 5 become dominating and there's only 2 kgs which is a very less mass so this is moving upward this is moving downwards we can say by using our common sense then how are you going to find an acceleration unbalanced force by net mass means these two are coming downwards so we can take m1 plus m2 into g sin theta okay minus m into a m1 into a that's it okay m1 into g so these two are coming downwards, this is moving upwards. So M1 plus M2 into G sin theta minus M1 G. By net mass, means you have to add all the three masses. Very simple. 
and if I want to find out the tension T1 and tension T2, how are you going to find out tension T1 and T2? It's very simple. You can find out tension T1. As this block is moving upward, so the tension formula for a block moving upward is M into G plus A. So you can take this as M1 into G plus A, that's it. If you want to find out this tension T2 for this block, because these two tensions are same, you have to find out the tension for this block. And this mass is coming down with an acceleration. Okay, this is moving upward, this is coming downwards. So as it is coming downwards, M into G minus A. But as it is an inclined plane you not you need not consider m into g you have to consider m3 into g sin 30 degrees okay minus a that's it so by using this formula as it is coming down instead of taking g you have to take the component that's it very simple so by using this formula you can get the answer as we got already acceleration by substituting this formula you will get an acceleration after getting an acceleration if you substitute here you will get even the tension also hope you have enjoyed the class Thank you very much. Have a nice day, nice day, baby.